All right, Ty, I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself uh, real quick, man. Gotcha. My name is Ty Pay, and um, I'm the owner of 319 Martin Luther King Avenue. Um, it's one of my primary projects that I'm working on right now. I'm trying to do some redevelopment in the southeast and bring a class A office building, residential building, and storefront to the southeast. So about three years ago, we started off by putting an anchoring um, store in, which is the Readers. Um, that was the first store that we bought to the um, four storefronts. We have a total of four storefronts. Uh, we have a tattoo parlor, we also have a church, and we also have um, a convenience store. Um, we're in the process of redeveloping and um, finding and upgrading some of our tenancy um, as the building develops, the neighborhood will develop, and the tenancy will follow also. So we're going to go inside and check out the space. Um, and you can kind of walk us through that piece. Yeah, that. Yeah. And this, so all this right here belongs to you, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. The way we're developing this project is we're doing all of our interior work first. As we complete our interior work, we're going to break our way out, outside the building and take care of the skin of the building. So the facade will be painted, um, repointed, um, and things like that. But right now, we're primarily focused on the interior of the building. And we'll get to the end of the building or the exterior of the building in about a month. What, what was your, your plans three years ago when you got the building? Did, did you see your, 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 your vision coming yes. to fruition? Vision, absolutely, yes. So, Three years ago when I uh, purchased the building, um, I had a few projects on the, on the table at the time, so I had to let this one um, sit back and go through the permitting process and things like that. Um, once all the permitting took place, um, about a year ago, I really started to focus on it. And my vision was, as I said before, to bring some Class A office space to Southeast MLK, some very nice upscale condos and apartments and then just develop some nice storefronts. Storefronts that are conducive to the neighborhood. Things that, you know, a lot of, that we haven't had in a while. So my main focus right now is um, the interior of the building and then developing the storefronts and getting some real nice businesses out here to support the building. Good question. So when you develop this building, uh, will you receive any government funding or how, how, yeah, so how are you able to do this? Yeah, so unfortunately, I um, wasn't able to get any funding. Um, I checked this checking for resources and sources to try to find funding numbers there. So uh, primarily most of the funding for this building was private funding. Private funding? Private funding. Wow, you able to do this with no government funding. No government, no, no government funding at all, private funding. So let's check the building out inside, man. Let's check it out inside. This space right here is one of our conference room spaces. This is a small meeting. It can accommodate six to eight um, people to come in and they can um, have conferences and meetings and things of that such there. This area over here is our reception area. Uh, we're going to have receptions. We're going to try to make sure that we hire the reception from within the community. Um, and she'll be the, he or she will be the main support for all staff and all people who come into the building, including the um, tenants upstairs. Vision for this space over here is more or less like a shared office space. So essentially, if you can go down and look down the corridor here, um, we have about eight to ten offices here. And basically, um, if you're a small business and you're just starting out, you need somewhere between 80 to about 200 square feet and accommodate that. So these are some of our small offices here. So these are like, let's say, for like incubator spaces to allow small businesses to grow in the community. And you see it's about eight to ten. Yep. This is amazing, man. Amazing, man. So, like, if, 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 how would, how would I be able to find this, uh, you know, if I'm a small business, you know, would you, you know, you're going to have, like, a website and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna set up a website, and we're going to reach out to some marketing um, folks to try to ensure that we get, um, as much publicity as possible um, because we definitely want folks to know that we're here and we're offering a great product in the Southeast. Yeah, all this in Southeast, man. And, yeah. I, and as I'm looking, man, this looks like some, you know, some stuff you see downtown, man, you know, the doors, the lighting. Uh, this is a big investment, uh, Ty. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, this is amazing, man. Here's one of our larger conference rooms. 
here. Look at these lights, man. As you can see, we got class A finishes in here. Um, we made sure that we uh, put the best finishes that we could in the building. You can get about 12 people in here. Yeah, this right here seats about 12 people. So we have a conference room table in the middle. And have some uh, smart TVs on the wall. And we'll be able to have meetings where we can um, reach out and basically um, have meetings over the internet, things like that, to reach out to people anywhere in the United States internationally from here. Uh, one of the things that we invested in that was very important here was the IT. So the IT is um, state of the art. Um, it's going to be federally, federally approved, which means we can have a federal tenant if we like. So federal tenants can be up in there? Yeah. How can you get that class A? Yeah. That's going up in here, man. This is amazing, man. Uh, like I say, man, I, I think this is great, uh, especially for you uh, to uh, do it over here in Ward 8 and Southeast, man. Absolutely. Um, bringing this type of, uh, uh, you know, opportunities to, to this ward. Right. Left, you know, sometimes we we get left out, you know, and Absolutely. to have uh, another brother like yourself to do it with uh, limited uh, uh, funding, yep. you know, no government funding. Uh, local government funding, uh, should I say, since you may have private funders or whatever, but mm -hmm. uh, I think this is phenomenal, man. And, um, you know, I think we got to find out how we can, you know, tap into some other resources to get you some support, man, because Absolutely. this is amazing, man. I mean, I, first time I ever seen this in Southeast, yeah, coming from my brother. Exactly, I think, you know? I think it is. I mean, I think when you look around, you're, you won't see many buildings of this level, you know, coming from a private individual. Yep. Good. So yeah, you say you have another side to this as well? Yeah, another side. This side over here, uh, we have suites. We call these office suites because basically as the um, smaller businesses grow and they would like to expand and have a little bit more office space, um, we've created um, office spaces that range somewhere between 600 to 1,000 square feet for small businesses, which again, um, allow small businesses to grow. So you got like a kitchen over here? We have a kitchen there. <laughs> Allow you to you know, be able to come in and eat and enjoy your food in a little space. You have offices. Hey, look at this. He got he got the dishwasher too. Yeah. He got a dishwasher in here, man. <laughs> People can't argue about being dirty in the office space. <laughs> so what what was this uh before you started uh, building this up, uh Ty? So this was um previously um Marion Burry's um, campaign office, this actual space right here. Mayor for life. Yeah, so like this is where he um, campaigned and, you know, and, you know, won the memo mayor right here in this space right here. Man, it's legendary. This is yeah. legendary here. Yeah, this thing has a lot of history here. And it's good that you, you know, keeping it, uh, you know, in the ward and having opportunities for local folks to come in, you know, small business folks, you know. A lot of times, you know, I, you know, me being a small business owner myself, we get left out. So, Benzo, you've been able to open the opportunity up for people like myself, you know, who have small business, man. That's that's just amazing, man. And, uh, I, you know, I can say, man, I hope someone get, you know, put it to this and see what you're doing over here, man, and get you some funding, man. Uh, because uh, not too many people do what you're doing, brother. I just want to let you know that. Appreciate it. Yo. All right, let's check out some more sweets real quick here. Uh, in here. Uh, and all the... This is a self-sufficient, self-sustaining, so you got your dress room, your kitchen, and all spaces. This is dope, man. Windows, you know, outside view. Man, this, is, this is what's up, man. Man, it's amazing, guys. Amazing. All right, now we're going to work our way up to the apartments upstairs. Um, we'll check those out and let you guys see what you think. So you got apartments upstairs? Yep. Office building, we have class A residential spaces also here. See, this is amazing, man. I mean, I've I never seen this before, man. <clears throat> Over in the southeast, man. It's crazy. And it's a Bluetooth? Yep. 
man. Bluetooth. I can sit down in my bed and be on Bluetooth. Hey, that's that's amazing right there. Oh wow. Double closet. So you put all, you set this up for all the TVs to be put on the wall automatically. Yes, yeah, so all the TVs can go on the wall. That's what they're on, the, um, the white cord is for. But these also have the ability to have like um, internet stuff like that. So you don't have to. Your internet cords ethernet, and all that. Yeah, ethernet and all that right there for you. All the spaces also will have wireless Wi-Fi. Um, what they call wireless Wi-Fi um, points throughout the building. So even if you don't have. Bathroom here. You got a bathroom over here as well. Oh, wow. Lighting is crazy though, man. Like the lighting is crazy. Like this is. What was that? And that's a Wi-Fi. That's a wireless. Um, so that's a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a cell phone and you want to take a shower and listen to some music while you're here. Oh my God, man! Are you serious? Yeah, it's got Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth. Yeah. When you in the shower. So you don't need to go buy the big, uh, big speaker. You I just buy the gold speaker and put it in the shower no more. Oh so my God, good. man! This, this, I, I'm done. I'm done. Man, you got the brick. They all just different. Yeah. Well, How you able to do that? Well, one of the things um, I rely on some crit, some my architect and some people who had a little bit more creativity than me. I did assist with that, but. Um, I left it to the professionals who do the design. You know, they designed it. They did a great job. Um, both my um, architect and my um, um, interior designer, they did a great job picking out colors and just, you know, helping with the floor plan. Mm. It turned out pretty well. Look at the lighting, man. <laughs> you don't have to go up to 14th Street, Northwest, yeah. Ward 2, Ward 1. You right here, Ward 8, same thing. Same thing, yeah. Same thing, man. Look at this, man. This you see the floor, you see the baseboards, man. This is this is what's up, man. This is what's up, man. And this is a what? Whoa, whoa. This is a one bedroom. One bedroom as well. One bedroom one bedroom. Big one bedroom, man. Yeah, nice one bedroom. Hey right man, these towels, man. Yeah. These no these not no cheap towels either, Ty. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can't get this one deep, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. This is dope, man. This is what's nice right here, man. This is what's up, man. You did a great job, man. You did a great job, man. I commend you on this right here, man. Yes, sir. It's a dope here, man. Never seen this before, man. You did a great job, man, brother. Sir. Yes, sir. You did a great job, man. So anything else you want anybody to know about what you're doing, man? Uh, no, I, I just wanted to make sure that everybody's aware that this is just the, um, the stepping stone to being able to do more development in Ward 8. Um, I hope I get the attention of some of the folks who can assist and just help me become a bigger um, general contract and develop larger projects in Ward 8. Man, that's, that's good, man. So we got to do a better job of getting the proper resources and the better opportunities for brothers like Ty, man. Um, as he said, man, he's creating a new wave. Uh, uh, you know, I just ran up into the brother, man, and he already took me in and saying he's willing to help and support me. Yep. So I know his heart is in it. But we got to get this guy some resources some funding so he can do things on a bigger level than what he's doing right now. So, man, uh, we definitely going to get this out. You got a groundbreaking coming? Yeah, we're going to do a groundbreaking. Hopefully in about a month and a half, two months, we should be doing a groundbreaking. Okay. That's the idea. Yep, and then he'll get a website. You came up with a name yet? Still Not working too. on that? Still working on that, yeah. yeah All right, so we're going to get back to y'all, man, and uh, we're going to make sure we get this to the right people. And uh, best wishes to you, brother. All right, appreciate it.